My name is Shannon Goldwater. Ten years ago, I founded an organization called Feeding Matters as a result of my triplets difficulties with pediatric feeding disorders. <laughs> Little did I know that their ability to eat was painstaking. They would vomit after every meal. They were choking and coughing and arching and turning blue. And I always just assumed that human beings inherently eat. And I just knew that this couldn't be. This it just can't be this way. Feeding issues are a common problem. It's not something that people well appreciate. Eating is something we do essentially is 24-7 part of our day. It's something we enjoy. It's social. And when it doesn't go right, it can be very, very devastating. This issue affects over a million children nationwide. And we're here to work with healthcare professionals and partner with them to change that. And we're also here to make sure that these infants and children are identified earlier. Right now, pediatric feeding disorders doesn't really have its own identity and standalone diagnosis. And, and that is something that you know, Feeding Matters is really dedicated to changing. And that's really been a lot of Shannon's vision. We first started this organization by saying, all right, we've been afforded so many opportunities to take our children to different specialists, and we need to share that information with families that are struggling now. There's never really been an organization in the United States or in the world that really tries to tackle it in its entirety. And this was started by a parent. This wasn't started by a healthcare professional. And then to put it together to drive an interest in something that then may help other families and children throughout the country and the United States is, a, is phenomenal. As a parent, for us to have that resource, you know, it's priceless, it really is. Without Feeding Matters, I, I, can't, I can't tell you where we'd be. I don't even know if my daughter would be alive, honestly. And that's really hard to say. No child or family will have to suffer the way that my children did for so many years. We've got to be the voice for these children. I mean, that's really what we want. We want kids to thrive.